Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis here. Today we're gonna talk about stomatocytes. They are an abnormal shaped red blood cells, aka poikilocytes, because you know poikilocyte is a term that includes any abnormally shaped red blood cell. One of those abnormal red blood cells are the stomatocytes, and they look like this. The central pattern is not circular, instead it's a slit shape. So let's get some terminology or nomenclature here. We have stomato and site. Site, of course, as you know, means cell. That's easy. How about stoma? Stoma means mouth or a slit or a pore. And if you remember your old science classes, the green leaf had some pores called stomata through which the plant can breathe. So stomatocyte, the cell that has a mouth or a slit in it. Again, stomatocyte, slit-like central pallor, like a coffee bean, which is kind of romantic, or kissing lips, which is even more romantic. See how doctors have great imagination? Okay, causes of stomatocytes can be an artifact, like an error during preparation. Okay, this will be less than 10% of the cells on your blood film are stomatocyte. The rest of the cells, or 90%, will be just normal red blood cells. Okay, if they are more than 10%, it's a disease, it's not an artifact. So, artifact like such as what? Maybe the cell is dehydrated or even overhydrated, can gives you this slit shape. Also, acidemia, if you're taking drugs such as phenylthiazine, chlorpromazine, or hereditary stomatocytosis. Yes, indeed, it exists. Or liver disease. Decreased lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase, which will lead to accumulation of cholesterol, which will lead to stomatocyte formation. So what's the mechanism of a formation of a stomatocyte? To understand the abnormal, let's understand the normal first. You have your normal red blood cell, which is biconcave, and here is the area of the central pattern. If you look at it from above, you'll find everything is red except for a pale center. It's here. Fine. If this cell is put in hypertonic saline, it has a chance to expand before bursting because we have started with a biconcave shape. But the exact mechanism is kind of more complicated. Hypertonic just means more sodium. More sodium will go into the red blood cell. What follows sodium is water. It will go inside. The red blood cell will swell. More swelling will lead to bursting. This is hemolytic anemia. So how does the normal red blood cell defend itself against osmosis? By doing the opposite. By letting sodium out so that water will go out and potassium comes in. That's the normal. So we have two mechanisms here. We have the mechanical shape of the red blood cell, the biconcave disc, which will give it more leverage to expand in a hypertonic saline. Second, we have a biochemical mechanism by altering the sodium and potassium so that we can expand in face of the hypertonic saline gives us more time before bursting. Now, what's the mechanism of the abnormal, the stomatocytes? Hereditary stomatocytosis, they have a genetic problem causing sodium to go into the cell, potassium to go out of the cell. When sodium comes into the cell, water will follow. The cell is now overhydrated. When the cell is overhydrated, hemoglobin is less concentrated, so we have low MCHC. This is the story of this tomato side. And instead of this circular central pallor, we have a slit shaped central pallor. That's it for today's video. Stomato sites, they could be an artifact, such as in dehydrated or overhydrated cells, they can be seen in liver disease or hereditary stomatocytosis. I'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.